Now we're back to learning GIMP and this time I'm going to show you how to make the colors in a photo pop. I've got two examples, let's use the flowers here first. I'll copy this one and now the first step would be to go to curves and you usually want to have an S shape. So you have the shadows, drag them a little bit down. In center you've got the midtones. You can see when you go down it gets darker, when you go up it gets lighter. And at the top there are the highlights. And you want your curve to have an S shape. It is going to increase the contrast between the shadows and the highlights. And this already makes the colors stand out a little bit more. And afterwards you can go to hue saturation and then target all of these colors individually. The master channel is active by default. You can see that if I adjust the hue everything is adjusted. Let me reset it and I only go up slightly with saturation and lightness. And now I target all of these channels one by one. I'm going to overdo it here a little bit so that you can see the effect. So I always go a little bit up with a saturation and then for lightness I mostly go up but in this case I go a little bit down with the lightness when it comes to the greens so that we have more contrast between all of these colorful flowers and the green leaves and it's usually the process that you can use to make your colors pop. Be careful not to overdo it because in certain areas you're going to get these color fragments for example, look at the white flowers on the left. Depending on the zoom level, you don't want to have that. But this was an extreme example that contained almost the entire color range. So what you normally have is such a photo here. The process is the same, even though we have a smaller color range. At first use the curves, create an S shape, and then adjust it slightly, that way you have higher contrast. And now we'll target the colors with hue saturation. At first I'll saturate it a little bit more on the mask channel. And I go slightly down with the lightness. In this case we have a lot of reds involved. And there's also some bluish elements, but it's not really blue. It's more cyan. There's not much magenta, yellow and green, so I can omit that. And you can see blue isn't really adjusted, but cyan is. I want to go up here with the saturation and then play around with the lightness. And that's fine. So let's compare this to the original and you can see these colors now really pop and it looks totally natural. So the process I use is go to colors, use curves and then use saturation and this will make your colors pop in GIMP. I hope this video was helpful, thank you for watching and I'll see you next time.